Right, Green, the Green Tambourine Band, thanks for talking to MeltedBeetle.com. We know it's a pleasure already. This is the third <laughs> take, just letting you know. <laughs> Murray. Hey. <laughs> That's right. Jack. <laughs> Here. And Liam. Present. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> thank God for that. I'm really sorry about that. There. Professional. But anyway, you're a young band. Uh, you're from Edinburgh? Yes. Where about in Edinburgh you, you boys from? Total Cross. From, uh, well, we're rehearsing Ox Gangs, but we're from nearby. Yeah, from really heavy. That's where we record as well. You're rehearsing Ox Gangs? We do. Mm-hmm. Where's that? I'm not, I'm not from the West Coast. Right. It's uh, just south, outside Edinburgh. South. Ten minutes outside. Yeah, from the south of Edinburgh. What bus do you get? 16. 16. 16. Oh, that's... Three that, 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 that goes by... A five. That goes by my house. So what else do you like? I live, <laughs> I, I live in New Haven slash Leith, somewhere down there. Yeah, yeah. So the other end of the 16th. Uh, the other end of the 16th. Mm. Well, if you want to call it that. <laughs> <laughs> so what type of band are you? What type of band are you? Like a guitar playing band by the looks of it? Yeah, we're a psychedelic band. Is that a psychedelic band? Yeah. So like, not sort of like, average indie band. You're not, you're not nah, sure? No, nah, definitely not. We're, uh, we'll use this tambura. Right. Uh, we've got sitars, uh, flutes, <laughs> trumpets, all sorts. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So how long have you been together? <laughs> As Us, I mean, been, about, I've been like four years. Yeah, we've been together for a while. But, but yeah, this band had... have been about a year. Yeah. So just starting really. So how's it been going so far? A good band we've got. Pretty good. Though. We've done an EP that's about to come out. A single that's about to come out as well. Um, and we did it all ourselves when yeah, we recorded. Yeah, most of our time just shooting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't do a lot of gigs. You don't do a lot of gigs? No, not that many. But, um, it's hard to find things to do when they're special. Yeah, <laughs> But uh, yeah, yeah. recordings where we, where we really love to be. Right, okay, so here's a question for you. That you because you're, you, you've recorded all your own stuff, or your own work, mm-hmm. let's call it your work, because that's mm-hmm. effectively what it is. You, you, do you think that the music today is a bit lazy compared to say when, say, say in the sixties when Sergeant Pepper recorded mm-hmm. their album, or when the Beatles recorded Sergeant Pepper? Yeah, because it's easier to do it now. Mm-hmm. Ah, well, you've got so different. many. You've got much more tools now. Yeah, yeah, so that's, yeah. So, yeah. that's why we, we stick to the analog. Yeah, we have yeah, to yeah, We've got tapes and that, but. Music today is a lot easier to make, but it's a lot easier to make hard, uh, well. Yeah. So you can put out some crap R&B songs, some bad lyrics about hitting the dance floor and mm-hmm. all that sort of shit, and you can, <laughs> and you can, <laughs> and you can have it out in minutes. Uh huh. Whereas we, and you can do endless takes, endless takes, but you never get the same quality as actually when you play it yourself and do it yourself and record it properly, which is what we're trying to do. And it takes longer, and. The equipment, the equipment messes up, and um, well, yeah. so it must be a lot more satisfying. It is, because yeah, yeah, yeah. when you go in a studio, you just get eight hours go. Eight hours go, yeah. and it's bad attitudes from everyone, and no one's actually in it for what they should be, mm-hmm. which is actually doing something well. They're just trying to make a quick sort of two hundred pound whatever. Really? So we do it all ourselves. We can take a bit of time over it and actually be happy with it. Mm-hmm. Sounds quite exciting, actually. Mm-hmm. Try yeah. just flash on, give us a wee track. That's By the way, that, that's, that term means not green. Yeah, oh, we got it. Sort it out. So what's this track called? This is our new single that's coming out soon, hopefully. And it's <laughs> You Are the One That I Love to Love. Live and let be. We 
Surprised. I don't even know you boys, but I feel quite proud that people as young as yourselves are producing something like that. Thank you, that's it. Hopefully, when you hear it, you'll like it. <laughs> on the record, that's Oh, right. It's well, got plenty more on the record. Yeah, yeah, it's quite on the record. Will you release it on vinyl? Well, we don't know. We don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see if something's going to start, see if we can yeah, get some yeah. funding from a label or something because we don't have the money ourselves to package it, really. No. Like, we paid for the mastering, all well, we sell our equipment, but. I think it will get enough interest from someone to actually. There's enough to do a smaller record label to do it. Yeah, definitely, and it's something. It's something that's actually different, and something that's sort of come out. There's a lot of psychedelic bands out there that are doing sort of. Yeah, like. Uh, yeah, but I I yeah, but I found that. Well, maybe mm-hmm. that track. I don't know what the rest of your music sounds like. Maybe you give me another track, but. It was quite uplifting. No, it's good sort of pop as well, it's just sort of classic. Uh, it's, uh, it's classic it's, pop, it's not, the, not modern pop. I'm not saying it's easy listening, but you get some... Yeah, it's, you it's get relaxing. Some, uh, aye, but it's, it's a single for a reason. You know, yeah. Hopefully you can aye. go back to it again and again, that's the thing as well. Because when you hear something that's modern and a hit, you like it, and then you don't really want to do it anymore, you don't want to hear it. Yeah. But hopefully you can go back to that over and over and... Who knows? I think that if it wasn't for the weather, it would be an ideal time to release it. Well, yeah, that's 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 quite a well, the thing is, all our songs are about sunshine right and summer and all this shit. But well, yeah. but yeah, I don't know. We should be in California, really. Are you old enough to drink that in front of the camera? That's right. It's ginger beer. Oh, ginger ale, rather. Sorry, like ginger ale. Ginger ale. Ah, sorry. So, Classic. how would people find you if they want to find you on Facebook? And SoundCloud. But it's sort of like information. SoundCloud.com, yeah. Green Tambourine Band, Facebook.com, Green Tambourine Band. Yeah. Easy to find. Yeah, we easy to name. Yeah, we put the names so it's nice and easy to Google. You get us. It is a nice, easy yeah. name to Google. Yeah. It is, but you don't know about Green Tambourine. You have to sort of work. We're working on that. In fact, I'll. I'll sponsor you one. If you can find me one that's like not like a thousand pounds. Real. Now we're doing it. That's all. We're going to. Cut it up there, or do you want yeah. to play one more? No, do you have another time? You alright for that? Cool? No, 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 no. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. Thanks, thank thanks, you thanks for talking to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Cool. That's good.